and look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, if I step on your shoes, I'm sorry. But we're here to worship the King, so let's go for it. Oh, there's joy in your house, Jesus. Oh, He's actually called me to start a men's group a men's group in uh, Fremont. It's actually going to start in a couple weeks, and, and I'm really excited. We worship the God who was. I wanted to step up and lead a group because I was really feeling kind of a tug at my heart that that was something that God was telling me, Jonathan, you, you need to step up and do this. Things that come out whenever you're together in a group, has it can blow your mind, and then it just sets you on a totally new journey together. There's joy in the house of the Lord. It's the Spirit that brings the power, the power to change our lives and the power to do something greater than we are through this ministry. I know I need to do everything I can and meet God halfway and like kind of be the one, be the quarterback throwing the ball and having him be the receiver making the touchdown. We sing to the God who heals. We sing to the God who saves. We sing to the God who always makes a way. Yes, he does. What made me want to step up and lead a group this semester was knowing that, you know, by me being willing uh, to lead, it helps others uh, grow in their faith and that I could be a catalyst for others as well. Leading the group has grown my faith to actually um, grow with Christ more and also be able to share others about Christ and have them grow spiritually and make me grow in my own walk with Christ each and every day through any struggles that I'm dealing with. And it helps me to, bend, to have those relationships and everything. I am so thankful for people who love the Word of God. We all need to grow in this area. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy.